computer. Good day everyone. Last topic, we have discussed the different generations of computer. From first generation, the vacuum tubes, from transistors, integrated circuits, to microprocessor, up to the artificial intelligence. So now, let's proceed to our discussion. Our next topic is all about classification of computers. So in this topic, we will know the different classifications of computers and also we will understand the different classification of computer according to purpose, type of data handled, and capacity. So, let's start. So, computers are classified according to different criteria. The following are the classification of computers. First one, according to purpose. Second one, according to the type of data handled. And third one, according to capacity. So, let's start first with the classification of computer by purpose. So, computer can be categorized by its purpose. There are two main purposes of a computer. These purpose are the special and general. So, let's start first with the general purpose computer. So, a computer that contains sufficiently simple and general instructions so that a wide variety of algorithms can be devised for the computer. It has the ability to store different programs or instructions and thus perform a variety of operations. So these are designed to solve a large variety of problems. Example is your microcomputer, which can be used for word processing, spreadsheet, database, games, communication, and other jobs. The next one is the special purpose computer. So a computer designed to handle a specific problem or performs a variety of specific tasks. Examples are those used for collecting highway throw, highway tolls, airline reservations, satellite tracking, air traffic control, and industrial process control. It is highly sophisticated but cannot be used for tasks other than for which it was designed. So that's the classification of computer according to its purpose. Let's proceed now to the classification of computer according to data handle. There, there are essential two different types of computer processing. It is made possible by different kinds of circuitry and it is suitable for different purposes. So we have three types of computers. They are analog computer, digital computer, and hybrid computer. So let's have first the analog computer. So the name analog comes from the word analogous, meaning similar. Analog computers are used for specific engineering and process control purposes. This type of computer provides an analog or simulation of the object or system it represents. It is especially useful for solving problems that involve relationships between variable quantities in systems that change with time. Next one is the digital computer. So the digital computer is a machine that specializes in counting. It separates by counting values that are discrete or separate and distinct. Unlike the continuous quantities that can be measured by the analog computer, digital computers are used for both business and scientific purpose since digital computation results in greater accuracy. And the last one is the hybrid computer. The digital component provides the user-friendly interface for easier operation, while the analog component serves as the brain that solves differential equations. And it is a digital computer that accepts analog signals and converts and processes them into digital form. So they work like both analog and digital computers. So that's the specification of computers according to data handled. So next, we have the classification of computer according to capacity or its size. So we have four different sizes of computers. You have the microcomputer, mini computer, mainframe computers, and the super computers. So let's have first the microcomputer. Microcomputer is the smallest type of computer. It is not as fast and costly as mini computers. It can be used at homes, offices, school, etc. It can serve only one person at a time and so can be called personal computer. So peripherals such as keyboard, mouse, monitor and system units are part of the microcomputer system. So the pictures in my side is the example of a microcomputer, the desktop computer, laptop computer, and the handheld computer. So that's the microcomputer. 
Let's proceed with the mini computer. So mini computer, this is smaller than mainframe computer that we will discuss later on, but bigger than micro computer. It can be used by many people at the same time. It is not expensive as mainframe. It is not as fast as mainframe. It is used in universities, polytechnics, companies, etc. It is about the size of a refrigerator. And it is used for scientific research and also in places like banks and large organizations. Let's proceed now to the mainframe computer. This is a large computer with a huge storage capacity. It is used in large business or in government organization to perform complex tasks. Bulk data processing such as census, industry and consumer statistics, enterprise research planning and transaction processing, it is as big as a closet. They are mostly used for scientific research purposes. That's the third computer according to capacity. For the last one, we have the supercomputer. This is the biggest and fastest machines that are used when billions or even trillions of calculations are needed. So supercomputers are machines that have capabilities far beyond even a traditional large-scale system. So, that's the different classifications of computer according to purpose, according to data handled, and according to capacity. So, on our next topic, we will discuss the different computer software and computer system. If you have learned something today from our today's discussion, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to comment your learnings from our topic today. See you on our next topic. Goodbye everyone and God bless.